Hey guys, welcome to Scalers YouTube channel and in this particular video we are going to look into a specific code implementation in Python where we are going to convert decimal to binary. So before moving on with that, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss our upcoming videos and also leave a like if you enjoy our content and if you have any queries leave a comment down below and we would be addressing to all of your questions. Right. So now let's move on and understand what will be covered. So first of all we will be giving you a quick introduction on what exactly we're going to do, what is binary and what is decimal and understanding how decimal and binary works. And then I'll be showing you how exactly to convert binary to decimal and also how to convert decimal to binary in Python as a code implementation. So this is what we'll be covering in this particular session. So I hope everything is clear. So we're going to look into a simple theoretical explanation and then move on to the code implementation of binary to decimal and also decimal to binary. So now without any delays, let's begin with it. So guys, let's start. Let's first understand what is binary and decimal. So first of all, binary is one of the most important foundational aspects of computers because without binary, no digital systems can exist because binary is the most, uh, it's basically a building block of computers. Without them, you can't do anything, basically. So as we humans use languages to understand and communicate with each other, computers and other digital systems use binary. So basically, we use the language which we are speaking to communicate with each other. Computers use binary system in order to communicate with each other to pass on messages and signals, right? So it's a base two number system having only two numbers. Okay, it's a base two number system. While decimal system is a base 10. So we'll come to that. So base two in the sense, it only corresponds. So basically it only has two numbers, zero and one. So zero and one are the only numbers which are in binary and it basically corresponds to on and off state in computer. So on would be one, off would be zero and you can check that out in the image. On would be one off would be zero so whenever it's one in any case in digital it basically means the particular thing is on if it's zero that particular thing is off even if you see let's say uh, a simple switch like a digital switch if you have sometimes the switch will have a zero and a one in that so if that one basically means you're going to on that the zero will be basically means if you click on that particular part of the switch it will be off so it's just an identification so now coming to Decimal system as normal humans we have 10 fingers to represent a simple number system called decimal Computers have these on and off states representing binary. So it's pretty simple like we have 10 fingers So 1 to 10 so we can consider it like that. So again to do this we need some uh, Technique to convert binary code into decimal code and vice versa For example when you are trying to communicate with the computer your code might have normal numbers But the computer wouldn't understand that so for the computer to understand the computer has to convert it into binary and then when once it's basically giving you back the result it should convert it back to decimal so that we as humans can understand what exactly is going on over there so now that exactly happens so for that we need some technique to do it so if you're using python we already have certain things we already have a built-in function in order to do that but if you're doing it manually how will you do that first let's understand how to do it manually we look at the calculations and everything once that is done we look at the implementation and i'll give you a simple explanation of what exactly is going on in the code and that would be the end of this particular session so i hope binary and decimal is clear moving on understanding decimal and binary first let's understand how exactly decimal works so decimal system based in makes use of 10 numbers 0 to 9 and then uses their combinations to form the digits so you can basically form infinite numbers with 0 and 9 right uh, so uh, with each digit being worth 10 times more than the last digit that is 1 10 100 1000 10000 so it keeps going like that so going from left to right okay so each digit is worth 10 times more so 1 10 is worth 10 times more than 100 is worth 10 times more than 10 1000 uh, is worth 10 times more than 1000 uh, sorry 100 and then it keeps going on like that so now let's take an example of value 265 right so here 265 is a combination of numbers ranging from 0 to 9 so we have 2 we have 6 and 5 so three different numbers combined together to form a three digit number okay so now each digit is 10 times more than the last digit going from left to right so 2 uh, okay so now 2 is there then 6 is there and 5 is there so according to the uh, latest digits the last digit would be 10 times worth more than the previous digit and that digit would be 10 times worth more than the previous digit okay so looking at the example over here so 5 5x100 because it's the third digit and it's 
100th question, so 5x100, then 6, 6x101, 2, 2x102. So how exactly this works? Let's look at the decimal digit representation. Okay, so nth digit 0 to 9. So this is the fifth digit, fourth, third, second, and first. Okay, right. So now as I told you, each digit is 10 times more than the last digit. So accordingly, you will have to put in the calculations. Okay. Okay, right. so first digit, sorry, first digit would basically be 1, 10 power 0. So anything power 0 is 1. So 10 power 1 is 10 again. 10 power 2 is 100 thousands 10,000 so this is the decimal digit representation and this is how it works so this is just an example of showing you how 265 would be represented okay so 265 5 x 100 okay so it basically means it's 100 101 and 102 okay so this is basically the simple representation of how exactly 265 is considered as a value so we'll see more about that now looking at the representation of binary in the same order so now in a similar fashion it's a combination of zero and ones with each digit being worth more than two times for example the first digit if it's one next would be two next would be four next would be eight sixteen thirty two sixty four so it'll be going on like that from left to right once again so in this case again first digit two power zero which is again one two power one is two two power two four two power three okay 4, 8, 16. So it keeps going as told and it's worth 2 times more. In this case, it's worth 10 times more. Okay. Okay. So this is the only difference between decimal and binary and this is how you can compare. This is a base 10 number. This is a base 2 number. Okay. Moving on. So now we understood the basic conversion uh, of binary and decimal. So how exactly the conversion works? So now first of all, let's look into the conversion of binary to decimal and then we'll move on to decimal to binary. So we've already seen that the binary system is a combination of zeros and ones with each digit being worth two times more than the last digit. So let's see how this information will help us convert a binary to decimal equivalent. For example, we have this number, sorry, we have this number 01011, right? So now digit 01011, okay? So this is how we are going and the first digit would be 2 power 4 equal to 16, 2 power 3 equal to 8, 2 power 2 equal to 4, 2 power 1 equal to 2, and 2 power 0 equal to 1, right? So now, how exactly will this be converted into decimal? It's pretty simple. So over here, you just multiply this digit with this, that is 2 power 4. So 0x2 power 4 plus 1x2 power 3 plus 0x2 power 2 plus 1x2 power 1, 1x2 power 0. So 0x2 power 0 would be 0, 1x2 power 3 would be what? So this is 8, so 1x8 would be 8, 0x2 power 2 would be again 0, 1x2, 2, and again 1x2 uh, power 0 is 1, basically 1x1 is equal to 1, right? So over here you can see if you uh, see 0, 8, 0, 2, 1. So 11 base 10. So this is basically how you calculate. It's pretty simple, right? It's very, very simple method to do it. It's basically 11 base 10. Okay. So if this is the binary number, 11 base 10. So this would be the decimal equivalent of this number. So if it's any other number, for example, it's 0, 0, uh, sorry, if it's 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, it'll basically be 1, 16, uh, and then it will be 0, 0, right? So 0, 0, and then it will be, let's say 1, 1, so 2, 1. So it would be 16, 2, 1. So what is 16 plus 2 plus 1? It would be 18 and 19, it would be 19 base 10. So that's how simple the calculation is. Uh, you, you can easily uh, calculate from binary to decimal with this particular method. You can also try accordingly. So now let's look at the code. Let's try to convert it into code and let's try to implement it. So now built-in function, there is a built-in function to convert binary to decimal in Python. So the, the function is basically int function to convert a binary to its decimal value. The int function takes two arguments. So the this is the syntax, it takes a value and the base. So obviously the base would be what? Two, uh, so for binary it would be two, for decimal it would be 10, right? Okay. So now as told over here, you can see value, 
and the base is given as 2 in order to convert it from binary to decimal so the value we are giving it has a base of 2 but we want to convert it into decimal which has a base of 10 so that's exactly what's going to happen here so the in function takes two arguments the value and the base of the number to be converted which is 2 in the case of binary numbers okay so now let's try to execute this particular code so first let me explain this code right here and then let me just i have the code in a uh, text file i'll just copy this and paste it into a compiler and run it and show it to you so first of all function binary to decimal number so this is the function def basically creates a function if you do not know python it's basically used to create functions so binary to decimal is the function name and value is the attribute which you are giving the variable okay this is the attribute we are providing so return int is the function and value is the value which we are going to provide over here right so value comma two okay so this is the function which will be uh, called every time we want to convert a number from binary to decimal okay so now looking at the main code over here you can see if name equal to main so this is the main function so every time you run the main function would be the first function to run this won't run first this will be running first so print binary to decimal okay so we are calling this particular function and providing a decimal number so this value will be given to the int function so the 100 uh, that is basically 100 basis 2 that basically means 100 basis 2 it's a binary number 100 is a binary number again uh, so it will basically return the value once it converts it into a decimal number 101 converts it into a decimal number and gives us the value 1001 converts it into a decimal number and gives us the value it's a pretty simple code i think it's pretty clear from uh, what is shown here so this is the code i have uh, it's not necessary to copy the comment it's just a comment to make you guys understand okay so now i have this python editor i just have it and i have an online editor right here you can also use an online editor to practice it, it won't make a big difference if you're using uh, your own editor or the online editor so now i hope i've explained it now let me run this and we'll get the output over here so now four five nine so this is four this is five this is 9 so let's do a manual calculation of this as well so how how would this be given this would be 2 power 0 this would be 2 power 1 and this would be 2 power 2 right so 2 power 2 would be 4 so 4x1 and this would be 2 power 1 which would be 0x 2 power 1 which would be 0 again so 0x 2 power 0 would be 0x1 that would be 0 again so it would be 4 so through the conversion over here it's again 4 so that's that's how simple it is so i think the calculation was clear you can also do a calculation by yourself so let's do some more changes so 101 let's make this 10101 let's make this uh, 0 yeah so now let's run it let's see okay so now you can see i changed the binary values and even the binary values given here are changed 5 21 and 17 so i hope binary to decimal is clear now let's move on to the next part which is converting decimal to binary so it's a pretty uh, similar concept but the technique in which you are going to convert is going to be different because that is base 2 to base 10 this is base 10 to base 2 okay so in division by 2 technique uh, so this is the technique which we'll be using division by 2 we continuously divide a decimal number by 2 and note the reminder till we get one as our input value and then we read the noted reminders in reverse order to get the final binary value assume we have a special function that divides the input number by two and gives the reminder as output for decimal to binary we call the special function multiple times till we get the one as our input value then at last we print all the saved reminders to get the final binary value so to be very very simple here they have taken the number as 47 so you basically divide it by two and you will get a value over here and you note down the reminder over here okay so again you divide it by two note down the reminder remind by two and note down the reminder divide by two reminder divide by two reminder so until and unless you finally get a zero over here right you keep going until you do it okay so now the reminder should be taken as one zero one 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 from the bottom you'll have to take consider it as a decimal value so now 47 is the decimal number and then the binary value would be 1011111 for example let's just run this code uh, let's just so it's 10111 
So let's see if the first value is 47. And you can see it is 47. So this is how this calculation works. It's pretty simple, right? It's pretty simple to understand. This is how decimal to binary works, decimal to binary calculation. So you can write your own code for this, but I'm going to use function which is inbuilt in python so i want you guys to put down the manual method of converting decimal to binary in the comment section so that we could understand that and if you give out the right answer we would give you a heart in the comment section so make sure to put down the decimal to binary conversion with the manual method without using the inbuilt function i'm going to show you the method how to do it with the inbuilt function and the inbuilt function is basically bin so the function which we use for binary to decimal was int this is bin right so bin basically takes a value as its argument and returns a binary equivalent of it so bin basically takes a value whatever value you provide for example here they are providing 77 okay so it takes 77 as the value and returns the binary equivalent of 77 so that's exactly what the code is it's pretty simple and again here it's decimal to binary this is the function name last time it was binary to decimal so it's returning bin n so n is the value we are providing over here dot replace and this is basically to replace the base so add uh, converting decimal to binary and removing the prefix 0b so the prefix will be removed because it will basically show so 0b basically means that it is in binary but we are just removing and replacing it with nothing so that's basically why re replace is used nothing else uh, i'll show you an example of using them both so now let's look into this code example so i have this code example right over here let me just copy this and i'm just going to paste it over this and then run this so it should give the binary value of 77 and here you can see 100 one one zero one so this is basically the binary value of 77 and let's provide 102 and run this so this is the binary value of 102 let's provide a bigger number 7861 and this is the binary value of 7861 so this is a simple code so now you might have a doubt how what exactly does this replace do let me remove this and you can see it shows 0b right so it basically mentions that this number which is presiding 0b is basically a binary number so we are just providing this particular code in order to remove the 0b so that the output would be much easier to read okay so that's why we are doing it yeah so that's basically it it's pretty simple right it's understandable okay so guys that's basically the session so as i told you this is using the bin function i want you guys to comment the actual code without using the inbuilt function in the comment section and get a heart by scalar so i hope everything is clear with this particular session meet you in another session thank you